we, we corrected our rebounding issues from the first half. I believe we out rebounded them 18 to 10 in the second half. Um, we were more aggressive attacking the basket in the second half, got us to the foul line a lot, um, made some free throws, uh, stayed tough. We, you know, we had a lead and then you know, they fought back to their credit, but we stayed tough and extended the lead back and you know, we had enough of a cushion at the end to win the game. Well, a few different, few different things. First, Mace, can you, I mean, a lot of help defense against you. They want to take away, you know, your ability to drive, try to draw falls, that kind of thing. It seemed like you hit the point where you said, "Okay, then I'm just taking it outside." I don't, I don't know if that was a conscious thought, but uh, yeah, I, I just read the defense. Uh, they backed off, and I, I trust myself in shooter. I've been working on it in practice. So uh, when the first one went in. Uh, I got more confidence in the second one and the third one. It seemed like you didn't get frustrated at all by what they were doing. Is that accurate or no? Uh, obviously not if you're I'm smiling. Glad I keep, <laughs> I'm glad I could keep the poker face. <laughs> <laughs> Marvin, can you talk about, too, I, you know, Chris talking about this. I mean, one of the things, you need a second scoring option, you know? You need someone to, to kind of step up and, you know, this is your senior year. It's a little different role for you, though, you know, where there have been the two guys before, and then you've been kind of like, you know, the third guy in, sometimes the leading scorer, but where it hasn't been a man yet. Has it, has it been different for you this year? Is it taking you a little while to settle into, you know, that you're kind of the number two guy? No, not worried about that at all. I didn't even know I was number two. But well, number two in terms of, you know, yeah, the, the guy you would probably look to for, for points. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, okay, I, I didn't know if I explained it well. Yeah, it's, I just uh, let the game come to me and just – Step up when I'm needed and just play hard all the time, and that should take care of everything for me. Have you been Have you been frustrated at all? Just by shooting, you, you had a nice night the other night against Canisius. I don't know if that's kind of got yeah, you going. Myself, definitely, definitely. But that, that just um, means I need to get in the gym and work as I've done, and it shows. Can you address that too? Um, well, you know, I don't think, you know, we, we don't have number one scores, number two scores, number three scores. You know, obviously Mace has done a good job of scoring the basketball. But if you look tonight, he also had three assists, you know, and his shot selection was, was good. Um, he made threes. They did, they did collapse the lane on him, and, you know, we changed the angle of a couple ball screens, and, and he did a great job of reading it and making shots. You know, Marv is consistent with what he does. Um, you know, I know at times he'd like to make more shots, but, you know, we tell him keep shooting it because shooters shoot and they make shots and we have complete confidence in him. You know, Marcus has had a couple good games scoring the ball. Ramon's had a couple good games mm -hmm. scoring the ball. You know, so, so we want to get everybody involved and, and that's what we attempt to do. And, you know, at, at key points, we'll go to Mace and, you know, we'll, we'll mix Marv in there too because he makes big shots. He's made some real big shots for us, you know. Um, so I think it's more of a question of, of, of us just – you know, locking in and, and, and making shots at key points in the game. And we did that today. And, and that's to these guys' credit. They made some big plays when they had to.